Hey guys, in this video we're going to check out multiple recast agents supported on your nav mesh. So you can see that we have one nav mesh and then two different recast agents. We have a blue one, that's going to be for the player character which is there. And we have an orange one and that's going to be for this giant who is chasing him. And we can see that the one nav mesh supports both of these agents. And the orange one has really large tiles so he can't fit in this tight area and the blue one has smaller tiles, so he'll be able to run in there to escape the giant. So let's check out what that looks like in game real quick, and then we'll see how we did it. Okay, so here the giant is chasing us, and when we're out in the open, he's able to follow us on his own nav mesh recast, but as soon as we go inside the tight area, he loses the ability to follow us in, and if we go back out, he'll find us again and try to chase us. And again, he'll chase us around the objects, but we can go inside them, and he's not able to get in there. So now let's go over and see how we do this. Okay, let's go ahead and start this from scratch. So when you first pull in your nav mesh bounds volume, you'll get the default nav mesh recast object, and that's the green one that you're familiar with on screen. But we want to make two custom ones, one that will apply to the player, that was the blue one that you saw earlier, and one that will apply to the giant, that was the orange one that you saw. So to do that, we're going to start by going to Edit, Project Settings, and then we'll search for Agents, and here under Navigation System, Supported Agents, I'll add one entry, and I'll call this Character 1, and this will be for the player, so I'll make it blue, and then I'm going to assign it to the player by matching his agent radius, which by default is 42. I'm also going to set his agent height, which is 192. And then I'll make another entry, and this will be for the giant. I'll call it character 2, and I'll make it orange. And I'm going to assign it to the giant by matching his agent radius, which is 126. And I'm also going to set his agent height, which is 576. And so what this means is that any character on the map who uses these dimensions will use this agent, and any character on the map that has these dimensions will use this agent. And so where am I getting these dimensions from? Well, for this, we'll close the project settings, and we'll go to the blueprints for the characters. I'm going to start with the player pawn, and we'll come down here and we'll select character movement, and then we'll search for agent and by default his agent radius was 42 and his agent height was 192 so that's where I get the dimensions for character 1 and then let's close him and then we'll select the giant and for this guy all I did was go to the character mesh and I just scaled it up by 3 to make a quick giant and so let's go to character movement and we'll type agent and all you do is just times everything by 3, so the default was 42, which is times 3, and that's the 126 for the rate agent radius, and then the default of 192 times 3 is 576, that's our new agent height for this character, and then before we leave here, let's go to the capsule component, and we see here under shape that it's asking for the capsule half height, so we just take that height of 576 divided by 2, and we just put 288 there, and the capsule radius remains unchanged at 126. Okay, we have this guy all set up, so we can close this, and we can close the blueprint for him. And then we'll just come over here to our world outliner, and we can delete the default recast agent, and then we'll just build all levels, and it automatically pulled in our two new recast agents, character 1 and character 2. And remember that we have our, our player and our giant matching the, uh, the agent radius and height in each one of these. So I'm just going to rename them real quick so that they're easier to find. Okay, and I'll select them both. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to hit Draw Poly Edges. And then we're going to come down here and we want to make sure that we hit Enable Drawing on both of them so that we can see both the blue and the orange one. Sometimes people forget to check this and they can only see one or the other and they think that it's not working. 
So just make sure that you uh, check this and then you'll see them both. And then let's come down here and we'll actually change the different tile sizes for each one of them. Okay, so I'll start with character one, that's for the player. I'm just going to set this down to 500 so that we have some different sizes to work with. And then with character two, that's the giant, I'll just set his cell size up to 60. And this is so that he can't fit in here. And remember, for more detailed information on how to set your tile sizes and cell sizes, as well as all these other options, go ahead and check out the other video in the link, to, in the link below. It's uh, for the nav mesh recast, but let's focus on this for now. So we have character one, that's the blue nav mesh that we're looking at, and he can run in between these objects. And the orange nav mesh, which is for character two, the giant, uh, he can't fit in there. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So he's going to chase me. He can chase me all around the objects, but once I go inside of him, he, he can't follow me anymore until I come back out. Now he'll start chasing me again, and then I can go back in, and then he's no longer able to, to follow me. And remember that all of this is happening on one nav mesh, and it's just supporting multiple agent recasts. So instead of pulling in multiple nav meshes and layering them on top of each other, you just do it with a single nav mesh. Okay, I hope that video helped. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.